one of them was before the football team, namely Mavericks, used to take care of this football field and even uh, by extension the community center and even the cemetery. But um, when this um, pandemic came aboard, uh, the village council was kind of shocked with cash and even help from anybody as such. But um, I want to say, I want to single out one person um, by the name of uh, Peter Mangar, who is um, currently very instrumental in, in terms of assisting in some of these projects that you see immediately behind me. Um, he, I don't know where he got this initiative, but he's also a son of the soil. And I want to be ever grateful to him, me uh, and, and of course the council, um, for, for these projects um, that he's currently doing. Uh, what he's doing is um, he's, he's also not only financing the, the maintenance of, of, of some of these um, projects behind me, but um, he's also, I would say, um, um, giving out some jobs because some people are getting paid, maybe just a little stipend or so, but he's uh, also assisting in, in a little form of, uh, some form of, um, of um, employment as such, um, which is good for, for, for especially through this pandemic. Um, but I, I, I don't believe Bruce, that this is the end of um, Peter Mangar. I think there will be a lot more Peter Mangar coming on board. And I, I don't want to leave without mentioning some of the people that, that actually helped even before he came aboard. Um, like especially um, James Williams Jr. Uh, just before the pandemic, he, he was very instrumental also in assisting us. But, um, and, and also Mavericks football team but we, they don't exist anymore um, in terms of functional. Um, like I said, uh, the pandemic is, is just um, wiping off some of that. But um, I want to say though, I want to encourage other communities, other village, other village leaders. Um, we got to exercise some level of autonomy within our communities because, you know, yeah, some of us might be political aligned, but um, you don't want to be depending on politicians as such. I mean, we welcome political assistance whenever it comes on board, but we got to exercise that level of autonomy within ourselves and, you know, um, um, or even the sister city relationship like we are doing right now. Although Peter is, um, is, a, uh, is a son of the soil, but he's currently living in the United States. And he's living out there, but he's actually here. I mean, as you can see behind me, it's obvious. Look at this, you know, by extent, I, and I know, I know he has a good heart and he will, he will by extension, um, extend his services or his, um, his intentions to our neighboring village. Yeah, you know, and I, I want to say he's starting off um, in these, um, you know, East Indian villages. Maybe next year he'll be doing Asinto, Forest Home, Cat Landing, you know. So I want to I want to say thanks again, thanks again to Peter Manga, and I encourage some more, and I am sure I'm sure some more will come aboard.